lot of excitement. Brighton has been one of our longtime supporters. Going in the old lodge here, they've got some old ski bikes up on the wall. Uh, we are, we're doing the demo here today, and we've got a, got a great turnout. What's going on in the, in the, the ski bike world is a lot of excitement. I mean, we've been, you know, we, we felt a lot like snowboarding as a, as a new sport back in the 70s and 80s. I was around when snowboarding was getting going and the ski resorts were, they were kind of not sure what to think about snowboards, but we've seen what's happened with that. It's, once we showed the ski areas that we were safe, we knew how to get on and off the lifts, but this is all translated in the ski biking. Ski biking has had this a similar reaction. Consumers love it, but the ski areas, it's taken us a while to get them to realize that we're part of their community and that we're safe and responsible and we're getting more and more people doing the sport. And the Ski Bike Association is something that we formed a few years ago. Uh, to bring the manufacturers, consumers, to bring us together as, a, as an advocacy group to promote the sport and to help the ski areas bring ski biking to their world. And you can see there's a lot of interest, a lot of different bikes. And another exciting thing is we've seen a lot of manufacturers kind of come and go in the sport. And that's natural. You get brands and pioneers that are experimenting, doing different things. We're seeing some staying power now. We've got brands that have been around for a while that are getting known. They're very competitive with each other. They're, everybody's watching what everybody else is doing. and, and uh, But they're innovating. They, the bikes keep on getting better and better every year. And this year we're seeing companies that not only are they making better bikes, but they're making extra skis. So you can buy a ski bike, and all of a sudden next year, there's a powder ski that's available for your ski bike. So it's just another sign that the sport's growing and more and more people are getting interested in it. And uh, we're excited to be here and excited to, to get the exposure. And come on by and try a ski bike. So one of the things that we did is we, we wanted to make sure the center of gravity is set so once you load the bike into the seat, A, it takes up a, a minimal amount of seat space. Um, and then you'll notice where the uh, shock mounts, you know, rear shock mount is. Uh, we actually made design that to emulate the curve of the chair. And again, as you can see, your bike's sitting there nice and stable in the seat next to you. This is a prototype ski for us that we're going to be manufacturing and selling. They won't be on our stock bikes. Nice early riser, um, great float on the powder, big wide tip. When you put the two skis together, what we're doing is creating a single arc ride. So we've created one giant side cut, board carves like a, a Ginsu knife, and uh, has extreme float in the powder as well. So we're really excited about this product, US made, the Liberator. We couldn't just take a bicycle frame, slap skis on it and send it down the mountain. We had to design the frame from the ground up with geometries that were um, optimized for ski mounting. Um, had to get the pedals up off the ground. We had to make sure that the skis could be securely mounted to the bike uh, to maintain the performance when you're on, on the runs.